You slump into your office chair after another long day of interviews. You've been investigating the disappearances surrounding a wealthy neighborhood for two weeks, but you have nothing to show for it. The telephone rings. You answer and hear the panicked voice of an older man. Is, is this the investigator who visited the Vanderbilt estate? You flip through the files on your desk. William Vanderbilt, a wealthy bachelor, mother recently deceased. He has refused to meet with you, but you are able to speak to several members of his serving staff. This is Eugene, Mr. Vanderbilt's butler. I, I didn't know who else to call. The police think I'm crazy. Unnatural things have started happening here. I'm worried for my master. I, I think he's in danger. Please, help. Finally, a lead. You hang up the phone, throw on your coat, and leave for the Vanderbilt estate. Your car rattles up on the uneven drive, pulling to a stop in the front of the estate. Several cars and carriages are parked along the drive. However, the butler who contacted you is nowhere to be seen. You knock on a large oak door to no response. Fearing something has happened, you try to try to handle, and the door swings open to a lavish entryway. You step into the warmth of the house. A strange stillness hangs in the air, and your footsteps echo through the quiet entrance. What is this place? This seems familiar. This must be Mr. Vanderbilt's estate, according to my um, reports. I brought you along here because I probably need help with this case. That's fine and dandy. Look, you're my friend for years, all right? Ray Monterey, we need to do this. Absolutely, I agree. In the middle of the lobby sits a table with a small pile of papers. A table with a telephone sits on top of the staircase to the left. A mysterious painting of a nighttime landscape looms over the lobby staircase. The silence is broken by a muffled shout and sounds of crashing pots and pans coming from the door on your left. What? Did you hear that, Monterey? I hear that loud and clear, buddy. You notice a stack of shelves with books and other objects nearby. Pushing in front of the door could prevent for someone or something from coming through. Three other doors lead to the mansion. Alright, investigating phase. Go. I'll go check that place out. I draw old Becky. You may never know. Alright, that leaves me to go here. And, oh, which door do I want to open? Do I want to open the one facing north or the one facing east? Or is it west? East, I think. Mm. We're going with the one that's not north, just to be sure. Ah, there the we go. door leads to a small front room of the mansion. The light from the entry shines into a dimly lit office as you open the door. A lamp sits on a large wooden desk, casting long shadows across a mess of papers and books scatter across the room. The desktop under the lamp is cluttered with papers. Across the room, bookcase stacks with books and other items stands against one wall. Among the items, you spot something useful. You may move one space to the exploit area. Oh, that's just fitting. That is just absolutely fitting for what I have. 
Okay. It's um, it's in here. You have to pick it up. Oh, oh okay. Just making sure. <laughs> and that's it. Mm. Yep. I caught my gun pointing at the door. <sighs> Whatever's in there. I have to get ready for it. <laughs> Kick the door down, Kratos style. <laughs> <laughs> ah, good old God of War. The door swings open to reveal a dining room in chaos. An aging man in a tailcoat scrambles through the door into the kitchen as he tries to escape a strange black creature writhing on the dinner room table. Um, by the way, this is the prequel for me, Monterey Jack, and Tommy Modoon. Mm -hmm. This is like a prequel story of us. Yep. The creature turns to face you. Its black serpentine body shifts and changes, playing tricks on your eyes as you try to focus on it. The creature unfurls its leathery wings and unleashes a blood curling screech. What? I look at it, it's like, what in the God's name is that? Come on, Tommy. Come on, Tommy. Don't be scared. You can do this. Just been a clue not to take horror. In the center of the dining room table is a carving knife, sizzling and bedding in the roast. A china cabinet stands against the wall, though it looks to be for purpose to store all manner of knickknacks. You can see the kitchen through the serving window. Most of the cabinets are ajar due to the food preparation, but one that has been locked shut with a chain catches your attention. In the kitchen, you can also see someone has left the refrigerator open. Water leaks out in the puddle onto the floor. You spot an old man you saw fleeing into the kitchen, huddling in the corner behind the oven. Sweat beats Brett beats off his brow, and his eyes bulge in terror. This is Eugene. <sighs> Alright, you monster freak. Cocked Becky. I'm gonna take you down with me. The creature leaves exposed for a moment as you draw your weapon to take advantage of the opportunity. Agility. Mine's a four. Roll for Becky. Damn it. I'll take it. The monster suffers damage equal to the weapon's damage. It's down to one HP. The sky has become blood red through the nether, though neither the sun nor moon is visible in the sky. B arranges many of his gears as possible. Cannot be in with rage. Towards the, it moves three spaces toward the nearest investigator. All right, you see this creature coming through the door and right in front of your face. Whoa, what the? However, you see bullet holes in this um, creature. Looks like it's been weakened. Ugh. Where'd you come from? But how, how can such a monster exist? It flutters on the wing too small to support its bulk. Sliding um, synoniously... Through spaces where it should not fit. It's every movement sends a terrible th thrill running down your spine. Suffer three horror. Will minus one negates. Oof. So no matter what, I'm taking one horror. Yep. One, two. And at least I only take two horror instead of three.
Investigating phase, go. That thing just came out of nowhere and shocked me. I feel like clubbing it in the face with my fire extinguisher. Your terrible, your terrible reality of the creature strikes you, and you freeze. You struggle to even move, much less attack. Well, okay. Uno, dos, tres. Uh, that could be a problem. You fail. You fear and and en en envelops you, and you cannot bring yourself to act. Do it again. Yep, let's do it again. Try again. Swing the fire extinguisher at it. You swing to injure the beast's limbs, hoping to slow it down or even cripple it. Strength. One, two, three, four. Uh, you... I think I meant to roll five. Yeah. Yep. Go again. One, two, three, four, five. Good grief. Turn one of those clues into a hit, and boom, it's dead. Okay. The creature lurches in the ground, dead. Hearing the monster's final fate, the old man in the kitchen cautiously steps out. Still your t oh yeah, you already did your two actions. My turn. Yep. I'll pick up the knife. Because angry video game nerd tells me to get the knife. I walk to the guy. Are you Eugene? The old man brushes himself off and tries to sh calm his shaking composer. You came just in time. Thank you so much for saving me. The name is Eugene. We spoke earlier today. I have heard noises from the attic. But the door is locked. I think something bad's gonna happen. Are you okay? The butler puts on a weak smile and the two of you chat for a minute. By the end of the conversation, he seems much calmer. Please take this with you. It's always brought me luck. And then Easter Vesker in the dining room in the kitchen discards one horror. Nothing. <laughs> nothing for me, nothing for you. You just, you just look calmer. I got the lucky rabbit's foot. Hmm. That's funny. Eugene calmly tells you that what happened before you arrived. Several rogue figures entered the mansion through the side door and took Mr. Vanderbilt to the attic. Soon they, are, they will arrive. I can hear them chanting. Where is that? The ruffians took Mr. Vanderbilt to the attic. You can get through the attic through the northwest door of this hall, but the door is locked. Mr. Vanderbilt will likely keep the key in his... Wait. I'm not sure if you if you want me to trust you with this. I'm a cop. You can trust me with anything. See? Oh, wait. I'll do Becky and the lucky rabbit foot. All right, Mr. Vanderbilt has a hidden office that he often retreats to. The door is hidden in the state's library which is through the northeast door when you get through the hall. It uses a very strange lock hidden behind the bookshelf. The butler instructs you how to open the secret door in the library. Game one clue. That's the end of my turns. Your turn. Oh, the creature's dead, by the way. Forgot. Here you go. You pant. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's oh, yeah. I, my, my bad. Mythos face. Pfft. A single beam of light breaks through the clouds, but is quietly choked out. No media effect. Your turn. Alright. Well. May as well stop in here. Pick up these candles. Because seriously, candles. You may discard this card to convert all. Yep. Okay. And then search this thing. Damn, that was your phone. <laughs> Your phone? Yes, definitely that was my phone. But yes, I'm going to search this thing. You dig through the dense paperwork cluttering the desk. Look for anything of interest. Observation. Yay! Observation of four. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. 
Okay, I'm fine with this. As you shuffle through the seemingly endless paperwork covering the desk, you spot a weathered journal that looks out of place amidst the mundane clutter. On the cover of the journal marks Lilith Vanderbilt. The investigator holding the old journal can read through its entirety by interacting with the app. You got the old journal. Hmm. Monterey looks at the um, journal. The name, the name strikes familiarity. Lilith Vanderbilt. Where have I heard that name before? It's my turn then. Hmm. And I guess it's safe to discard this now? Uh, yeah. Alright. I'm gonna search this door. The door opens to a dim hallway one winds through the heart of the mansion. Oh, by the way, we last time we played this, do you remember the um the thing was in the roof? Yeah, the rooftop encounter? Yeah. But this is in the attic. Yep. A wooden desk stands against the wall. Someone is acting in a hurry has knocked over a stack of papers. Three doors lead to the other rooms of the mansion. You can use the surrounding furniture to barricade the door should the need arise. You may move one space to the explored area. The walls of the room seem to be closed, and the mythos effect the mythos event affects the investigator within range with the fewest spaces. Of a few spaces. To each other, I think? I don't no, I don't know. You're forced to crouch and shuffle. Suffer one horror, then become stunned. Alright, so both of us. Suffer one horror, will negates. Three. I'm stunned, but I don't take any horror. Mm-hmm. Uno, dos, tres. Uh, Take the horror. Turn my left two into uh, horror prevention, and I'm still stunned, but at least I have my four sanity left. Investigation phase. So we can't perform more than one action. Uh, you cannot perform more than a single action during your turn. Alright, your turn. Okay, so all I can really do is move two. My turn. I'll look at this. You attempt to unlock the combina unlock the combination lock on the draws. Tap to attempt the puzzle using observation. Oh boy. All right. My observation is a four. I have one clue. All right. Are there any twos? There's one two. Are there any threes? There's one three. Um, are there any fives? There's no fives. Are there any fours? There is one four. I'm going to use my clue. Is it three, two, four? Nope. That's not it. Alright, discard my stunned. Discard my clue. The lights flicker and then die. Place a darkness token on each space in the hallway four. The mythos event affects the investigator in hallway four. Ah, oh, fuck. What? 
What happened to the lights? Sort of darkness overwhelming. You find yourself completely blind. Uh oh. You pass, you force yourself to press on, using the memory of the room to navigate. <sighs> oh, man. Electricity in this house sucks. Your turn. Well, that just happened. Uh, let's go in here. You see the hall, one of the hallways is dark. Well, that's inconvenient. There's something here, though. Look at that, I guess. Yeah, he is. That's, that is the plan. Amidst the mundane paperwork, you find a weathered page covered in a strange script. Someone has scrawled a note in English across the top of the page. Speak these words for great power. Recite the script or return the papers. Remember, it could be bad, you know. Recite the words for great power. But does Monterey Jack want to take the risk? He could summon something bad if he recites it. Well, let's see that, or I guess just hold it with me. Recite the script, or I'll return the papers. <clears throat> you know, what? recite. Why not? The elders word to get us killed. It gets us killed. <laughs> the Elder's word takes on a life of its own as you speak them, reshaping your mind with new understanding of the script that you are looking at. The lights flicker, and when you hear a whisper in your ear, power comes at a comes with a price. Discard the search token, and you got the wither spell. It's still your turn. You still got one move. Yes, indeed, I do. And I will use it to see if I can get to this door at the very least. The wooden plaque marked library fastened to the center of the door. The door creaks on its hinges as you push it open to reveal the library. Bookshelf lined the walls. A piece of research materials that has been recently used sits on a small wooden desk. A rope figure pushing the bookshelf back into place. That caught your eye immediately. From Monterey Jack. Yep. A rope figure draws out a strange idol and begins chanting. You, you, you're witnessing this, by the way. Before your very eyes, a terrifying creature appears out of thin air. The cult member speaks some more words into the strange language, but the creature turns to him, tearing him to pieces before your eyes. Uh, suffer two horror, will negates. Ooh, jeez Louise. Do, 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 do. I have no clues, but I do suffer one less horror. Yep. You may move one space to the explored area. My turn. What was that going on in there? Who left the door open? No matter, I need to solve this puzzle. Is it two, four, four, three, two? Got it. It's four, three, two. As you popped over the combination and draws pop open with an audible click, inside you find a grotesque statuette of an octopod dragon, and something else might be of use. And one clue. Oh. What is this? What is Mr. Vanderbilt doing? 
I will definitely use this. Hmm. I wonder if this is any good. I drink it down. I feel myself improve. Like feel stronger than before. Oh, yeah, there you go. Monterey. I see the. I see Monterey. And I point my gun straight at him. Get down! All right. Creature roars as you pull the trigger. Your weapon roars back. Well, get down, Monterey. I did get out of the way, so. Your shots impact the creature and its cry becomes tinged with pain. You see, like, blood a little bit on the creature. Yep. <clears throat> the corridor stretched out further, lined with countless doors. This mythos affects the investigators in the alley or hall, which is me. So that gets you, but I am barely out of the range. Whoops. Well, I pass anyways. I didn't mean to roll that. A rope figure appears from the secret door and begins searching around. Upon seeing the signs of other people, the figure yells, There's someone here! You hear a muffled response from another part of the state. Get rid of them! Then attacks the investigator with the lowest um, observation. Well, I can't figure out which to attack because all uh, observations are four. The creature grabs you, Monterey Jack, and attempts you to drag you away. Strength. Oh, drag me away, why don't you? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Eh. It's casting a spell? Candle. Oh, whoops. I read that wrong. Oops. You suffer two damage, and then you and the monster move one space away from the library. Okay, well, at least I only took the one. Because I did get one pass. See the cultist coming through the, um... Alloway. Where did he come from? We gotta stand our ground, Monterey. Yep, working on that. All right, your turn. And with, and with that, try and clobber the beast right in front of me with the fire extinguisher. You kick back the creature, leaving it scrambling and vulnerable. You raise your weapon and take advantage of this monster's sudden weakness. Strength plus one. This monster suffers damage equal to your test results. Ooh, this is gonna be good. I can tell. Six. Yep. Yeah, he's dead. Boom! Clobbered. Alright, Night Gone is dead. I'll go take care of, um... I'll go take care of the cultists. Go inside, quick! Got it! Just gonna look at that. Well, I would if I did not clobber the creature beforehand, so... Alright, so I'll just shoot yep. him. Alright, I'll shoot him. Back away, man. I have nothing against you. Observation. I said back away! Bam! Shoot the cultist in the head and he just dies. What the hell's going on? We need to find we need to find Vanderbilt quick. I'll explore this. Lost scrolls uh, The scroll is marked with orbits of the eight planets. A straight line is drawn out across them from the sun, marked with today's date and the words planetary alignment. Game one clue discard the search token. 
Huh. Interesting. With so many draws and cabinets, you surely be able to find some evidence here. This mythos event affects the investigators in the bedroom or office with the lowest sanity. No one's in the bedroom or office. And now you will pay that pr pay and now you will pay the price for that power rings in your head. Monterey, are you alright? <sighs> the lights flicker and the air cracks with electricity. Suddenly it seems to split before you, and a terrifying creature slips through the unknown space beyond. Monterey, speak to me. Snap out of it. Are you alright? Uh. <clears throat> Ooh, that's ugly. Two. What the? Another one of these things? Go ahead. Oh, it's right in front of me. I'll take uh, care of uh, it. Solve the puzzle. Wait. Just research what you're doing. I'll take care of him. I raided my gun at the Migo. Alright. Get to over this. here. Get over here, you winged freak. Go to this thing over here and start searching. Mm -hmm. You push aside the shadow to reveal a ritual circle and of the butler spoke of. You attempt to trace them as he told you. Tap the attempt the puzzle using lore. Is it this? Okay, it's this. Oh, this is an easy puzzle. Yeah, this is one of the easiest ones. You know what this makes anyways. Mm -hmm. And we're for Laura 3. Go ahead. Alright, what am I working with here? You can attempt it twice, so six. Mm -hmm. Remember, adjacent. Yep. So move. That's one gone. Two moves gone. Where do I want to go with this? Hmm. That's three. Oh, wait. This would be like that. There you go. Looks like that could be four, five. This is five. Well. Yep. Six. That's it. That's unfortunately all I can do because I have no clues, so bend them off. 
well. I shot the Migo. It's in pain. Not down for the count, huh? Come over here, you motherfucker. Take this! You think you can dodge this? <laughs> I'll turn that to a clue. Mago is dead. I shot him in the head and blood spirals all over the place. No! Oh, oh, there goes my tailcoat! <sighs> Another notch to my weapon. A gentle wind is blowing through you, the corridor, pressing against your face as you walk. The mythos of Vex the Investigator in the hall. Investigator phase. Well, we still have the puzzle to work with, so that's another six moves I can work with. Yep. I know where it is. This has to go up here. Like that. That was it. You traced a co so. conti continuous line through the winding markings as the butler instructed you. The runes illuminate with a strange green light and the wall panel pops open, revealing a secret door hidden to a hidden study behind the wall. Gain one clue. What did you find, Monterey? That looks like a secret wall. That's what the butler has told me. Bookcase, a bookshelf filled with frightening objects is mounted on the opposite wall. An oak desk sits on the other side of the room. You may move one space to the explored area. My turn then. Mm -hmm. What is this? On the desk, you find what looks like a personal planner. As you pick up the book, a brass key clangs on the between between the pages. Huh. Monterey, a key. A key? Hmm. That could come in handy. Very handy, indeed. You turn the pages you've been holding and find no scroll here. If the alignments... Are truly weakens the veil. I believe that it's the only moment we have to break through. I will make the necessary preparations in the attic. An incriminating evidence. <sighs> Something's going on in this estate and I don't like this. I turn to you. That makes two of us. These monsters, this thing, whatever it is. You place the planner back into the desk and search through the drawers. You find some things of use, but no additional evidence. I pulled out some fine clothes. Now, what would I want these for? Why, indeed. Hmm, where's the attic? Mythos. <clears throat> the walls around you... This mythos affects East Investigator in an indoor space. Both of us. 
The eyes blink in succession, and the voice in your mind asks what you seek. Well. Okay, so one, two, three. Uh, do I dare turn that into a success with my clue? You know what, sure, why not? Go for it. I suffer two horror and discard one improvement. Ugh, I discard my strength. You pass. You send whatever is watching a clear message, and the eyes close one by one, giving you a dubious blessing. Become righteousness. A rope figure appears on the side door and begins searching around. Upon seeing the sight of other people, the figure yells, There's someone here! Get rid of them! We heard that. say, like, uh-oh. What's, what's going on? More people in here? Ah, oh, great. The rope figure sneaks into the dining room and comes face to face with Eugene. The butler yells in fright and flees into the entryway. We heard him yell, Eugene! Is he gonna be okay? You're welcome to go and look if you'd like. I have the key. No, I'm fine. Your turn. Oh, let me go first. I'm gonna open this door. A weather door stands at the end of the hall. You hear bizarre noises coming from the other side. When you try to handle, you find the door is locked. A keyhole sits beneath the brass door handle. This is where the key unlocks. On the far side of the attic, a furniture and other random items had been pushed up against the wall. Along the items, you spot something useful. Two rope figures stand across from each other over this ritual circle, chanting. One of the... One nearest to you seems to some kind of a trance, and they hardly acknowledge your approach. The other figure lowers the hood of his robe and points you an out an oriate dagger. What are you doing in my property? You're meddling in things you should not understand, and you will die for it. This is William Vanderbilt. William Vanderbilt. I should have known. Up to no good again. For this, you must you must pay. You must pay. William Vanderbilt begins chanting a heinous incantation that caused the reality to warp and shift. A single massive creature of terrifying description slips through the fabric of reality into our world. Uh, Monterey Jack feels something weird going on in this office. <clears throat> you see a now you see a, like a cut in the air and opens a portal. Monterey sees something big and nasty and horrible coming through it. Uh. The ritual circle on the ground is scattered with candles, skulls, and other trinkets. If you can get these ritual components, you can stop the cult's vile magic and have enough proof to condemn the Vanderbilt family. <laughs> I'm just gonna... Boink! <laughs> you went, zoom, bye-bye. <laughs> One, two, three, four. That is all. I am... Yeah. <laughs> ah, shit. This mythos of Vexy investigated with the highest ops, um, influence. Which is... Me. You become convinced that you are the rightful owner of this house. And rob you of your... Robbed of your inheritance. The rage fills you. You cannot contain it. Thrashing wildly at the walls. 
So for three, what am I doing? Sorry. I take no damage. If you suffer no damage, you lash out at your friends with unresolved frustration. Each other best gear within your spell. Oh. Nothing. Oh, what am I going? You are? Attacks the monster within this space, cannot be within range. This ain't this ain't good. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do this. Disrupt the ritual. Lore. Evidence to convert an equal amount of. Okay, good. So three, two. Whoops. I'll discard my grotesque statue to be at two. Oh, it burns my skin. I suffer one face down damage. You removed several items successfully, but you trip up, causing the magic to lash out at you and burn your skin. I'll do it one more time. I'll discard the incriminating evidence. Carefully performing each step, you remove the components from the ritual circle. Almost immediately, some of them... Melicate energy seems to fade from the air around you. You have put an end to the cult's vile scheme. Ritual components. The investigation is complete. And the investigator escapes with the mansion with the ritual component unique items. The investigators win the game. When the investigation is complete. So, once we get... Mm. It's your turn. Okay. Uh, before I do anything else... May as well use the holy water now. Get rid of one of my horror. And make myself focus. You bl you threw holy water into yourself, feeling blessed. As you look at the two creatures, the a semi nude witch and a pulsating slug monster. And... Goodbye. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, pretty much. I do not have the evidence, though, so unfortunately, the best I can do is wait. Yep. You see um, Tommy Madu running. I got it! I got it! Get no. out of here! There are things behind us! Yes, I know. I ran across them. Your hand suddenly begins to burn. This mythos affects the investigator who has a light source with the lowest observation. Uh... You. Ow! I can't fire extinguish it, though! The fire from your, um... From the light has spread to your hand. Instantly drop what you're holding and clutch your wounded hand. Suffer two face-down damage and drop one random light source. Before you realize that the fire is spread around you. So you dropped your candles. Oh, this is bad. Yeah. 
Ow! Uh, get get Eugene out of here too while we're at it. Who suffered the least damage? Cultist attacking you. A pale hand darts out from under the cultist's cloak and grabs your neck. You claw at the ghoulish hand as it squeezes down on your windpipe. Suffer so two damage. Strength minus one negates. Ooh. One, two, three, four. Ow! You struggle in vain. But you did let go. He did let go of you. Cannot be in range. You see, you see another man in robes, saying, "They're after them! Don't let them escape!" I yelled, "That's William Vanderbilt! Let's get out of here!" You got that right. And it just <laughs> as the door breaks down. Let's get out of here. Eugene, let's go! And then just leave the fire for for them to work with. Because that will slow them down. <laughs> Alright. The mansion's front door is just in front of you. The investigation is complete. An investigator escapes the mansion with the retro component unique items. Investigators win the game when the investigation is complete. You can... Yeah, I have it. Escape. You throw open the door and flee into the night, carrying proof of Vanderbilt's heinous crimes with you. The investigation's complete. Each investigator wins the game unless the effect such as an insane condition specific otherwise. You burst through the front door of the mansion and run for your vehicle, desperately clutching the components from the ritual site. Incontrovertible evidence of the cult and proof of their connection to the disappearances. Your vehicle sputters and slides as you accelerate down the uneven drive. If you can make it to the police department alive, the cult will surely be destroyed. You smash through the gates at the end of the drive and careen out into the road, leaving the Vanderbilt estate far behind you. <laughs> 